And now, World Improv Network proudly presents Community Courts. When two parties cannot solve a dispute, you know, Community Court is there to solve the problem. See? All rise. Now presiding, the Honorable Judge Vaccaro. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, yep. Junior's a wide, wide open, open mouthed baby. He's ready for to take in. Oh, I'm sorry, Junior didn't. All right, I won't draw attention to it. I'm going to take him out in the alley. Uh, uh, yeah, just uh, the five S's, remember? All right, well, we got a doozy of a of a court case. I mean, they're all doozies in their own right, but this one is a bit more doozy. Uh, we have a, at the defendant stand, this is a, this is a DJ Marblehead. Uh, hello, I'm DJ Marblehead. Uh, you know, I think this uh, whole trial is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so, you know, that is uh, Yeah, your accent's uh, ridiculous. You know. Where, what part of France are you from, buddy? I am from uh, the central part of France. All right, well, I'm just right telling in, you, Junior... Right in the middle. All right, well, you know, when Junior smells something funny, uh, I think I think that's his diaper. Are you thinking, uh, Bailiff Dave, you're going to have to take him back to Alley again. Uh, it's me again. Oh. All right, I'll take him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we had enchiladas for breakfast. Uh, and our, uh, our plaintiff, uh, your name is Tyler Brampkin, and... Uh, you are wearing an eye patch right now. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, pretty much lost all sight in my right eye. I hope the uh, Mr. Defendant DJ man over there is DJ Marblehead. Happy. Uh, I think this is uh, ridiculous. You know, you know I, I DJ cannot be responsible for dropping uh, dope beats and causing someone to lose control of the glow stick that they were spinning. You know, because my yeah. beats were too too dope for them. I'd have to agree. I mean, I've hung out with Justin Bieber, and uh, you know, that's a DJ's job. That's right to to drop the beats. And uh, Mr. Brampkin, you're saying that uh, what DJ Marblehead did his job too well? Is that your is that your deal, buddy? Oh, he did his job real real well. This was personally targeted right at me. A personally targeted at one person in the audience. This is ridiculous. You know, I was doing my normal things. You know, I was up there. I was up there. I had the the micro microphone up, and I said, "Let's get to partying." Yes. And then I got this. The the dope beat was up. You know, and I got everybody in anticipation for the drop. And then I dropped it. And you know, a lot of glow sticks went flying at the moment. This is not my responsibility at this moment. Well, you know it. All this talk about dropping beats is making Junior kind of upset. All right. So if you could, instead of saying dropping beats, perhaps say putting needles to wax. Okay. Yeah, I that pleases Junior. That pleases Junior. Well, I put the, put the needle to the wax and uh, the bass really uh, exploded into the face of the audience and they were loving this. They were loving this. I was spraying my dope music down upon them. In a climactic fashion. All right, so, now you're getting kind of graphic, Mr. Frenchman. No, this is music. All right, yeah, tickler, buddy. All right, now, Mr. Brampkin. Is that the racial slur? What? A I French don't... tickler? Is that what you were calling me? I... This is ridiculous. This is court is ridiculous. You are out of order, sir. You'll notice how easily agitated he gets. Easily agi agitated. Is that Mr. Brampkin? Well, uh, please may, just give us a, a brief rundown of the events. All right. So DJ Marblehead here, you know, he puts the quote needle to the wax. Marblehead 2.0. What? Are we, are we branded DJ Marblehead 2.0? Like just now? In just the past now, just three now. seconds? This cart is, yeah. Look, democracy takes time. It does, it's not like a Twitter. All right doesn't happen in a flash well, of an eye. I happen to be live tweeting this whole event, so... Well, you shouldn't be doing that. That's not allowed. I did not know this. Well, I'm telling you now. All right, that's stop. I don't like your attitude. I'm just saying. All right, Mr. Bramkin, 
you know, I, I'm I'm sorry. This this courtroom's turning to a circus. All right. Yeah, what, and, what, what, what did you get? What did you get things under control? That, that what no, that's too? not what I was oh, saying yes, at all. Oh, because everyone flanches in the circus. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Bramkin, I do apologize. I'm, you know, Junior, we woke up this morning. He was just crying for Mexican food. And so I, the, the only kind of sauce I had for the enchiladas was picante. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> and, you know, yeah, Junior loves picante, but. You know, it doesn't work with his GI tract. And I'm trying to talk to the nutritionist about it, but they're being stubborn. Mr. Brampton, you didn't need to know all that. I don't think I had a choice. Thanks for all that info, Judge. Well, a lot of attitude in this courtroom today. Well, you'd have some attitude, too, if you didn't have any sight in your right eye anymore. All right, well, and but hey, you seem to be doing all right, because I'm looking at these medical records, and it was a lot worse at first. Well, I was pretty much blind in both eyes. Because the uh, special gel from the uh, glow stick kind of erupted out, right out from the plastic. And uh, it was pretty toxic for about a week. Uh, my wife wouldn't even talk to me. Oh, you're married? Twice. Oh. Well, no, Junior, not a good moment. Uh, well, I don't think that the toxic nature of the glow stick has anything to do with my music. Well, I, I don't know, DJ Marblehead, because this is not the first incident. A, this is not the first. This is, seems to be yes, coming a pattern you in go, your shows. You go to, to watch DJ Marblehead 2.0, you expect to be blinded with sound. Yeah, but not with glow sticks. I know. That's why that's not my fault. If, you were, I, if, you were, if my music blinded him, then yes, you could sue me. I would be liable for that but not if a glow stick slips out of his hands. I mean, I saw him in the audience because I have eyes and I look at the eyes of every one of my guests who are in the audience and I saw him and he was e eating butter <laughs> buttery popcorn. Instead of buttery popcorn, that very clearly upsets Junior. Could you maybe say uh, greased up corn balls? Yes, greased up corn balls. He was eating these and clearly the glow stick slipped from his hand unrelated to the dope sorry but, dropping the needle on the wax uh dj marblehead the thing is 2.0 like, dj marblehead 2.0 yeah uh no i junior uh buddy all right hey mr bramkin we're gonna get you in better shape than you came into this courtroom all right i'm promising you this buddy all right i got a good feeling about you well i sure hope so it's not a uh, not exactly nice going to work and everybody thinks you're a pirate 364 days of the year no, man. Halloween, it's pretty embarrassing. Well, and, and what is your work again? I understand it's a pretty high-risk job. Uh, yeah, I'm a telemarketer for Sprint. That, I, I, yep, that's a pretty risky job. Uh, I hear that the abuse you get over the, the, those, what, what you can we call it, headsets? Yeah, it's a sweatshop. Calls come in left and right, nonstop. Pretty much sucks. Don't ever get a job telemarketing. I feel bad for him. <laughs> yeah, can we just... I mean, you're breaking my heart, man. Yes, at this, at this time I feel really bad for him. At first I was upset because he was blaming for me for this incident. I can clearly see that his life is in shambles. Uh, shambles, if you are French, this is a French word for shambles. I mean, Mr. Bramkin, why do you... You know, why do you go... Why did you go to see DJ Marblehead 2.0? Well, I was just DJ Marblehead at the time. Right. Okay. Well, fair enough. But well, why did you go to see the artist that would become DJ Marblehead 2.0? Well, I wanted to wanted to go support a up and coming DJ artist. I heard he was the the word on the street. He was going to be an '80s throwback. That's right. I, that's I'm all, sorry. All correct. When you say '80s throwback, that gives Junior a cold. So <laughs> could you perhaps say retrospective music? Retrospective music. 80s, fine. Yes, and, and and I'm happy that you love the music. I love that you are a fan, and I wish I could do something to help you, but, uh, uh, you know, I don't have, you know, I, I don't want to give you money. Well, I, Mr. Brand I feel quite opposite. I feel like a DJ has kind of a responsibility to his audience. Well, well let's... A responsibility to drop dope beats. I think we can definitely find a resolution here between you guys, all right? You know... Hey, Mr. Brinkin, DJ Marblehead 
All right. He's he's more than an up and coming DJ. All right. I oh, can tell that. I, I and do he need... just offered, you know, he's extending an olive branch here. I do need someone to do some uh, marketing for my new uh, brand, DJ Marblehead 2.0, and I could use a telemarketer. Oh my gosh. Is this like heaven sent from DJ Tiesto or what? Well, as long as I don't have to clock in and out, my bathroom breaks aren't recorded, and I'm paid more than 12 bucks an hour, I think I'd be willing to settle for something like that. Bam! We nailed it! We Stay tuned for Talking Points with Shabazz Davis, and make sure to give the Wincast your suggestions during the break on what topic Shabazz should swing a bat at. Next on Mile High Sports Radio. 